Hello everyone, this is going to be a simple solo stunning tutorial where I show you the only solo stunning concepts that are worth learning. This tutorial applies to everyone, and I mean literally everyone. Even people who know how to solo stun. So make sure to watch until the very end to get the most out of this video. Okay, first things first. Everyone should know that as soon as a piece of evidence lands on the cog, that cog gets stunned for 5 seconds. So with that in mind, now let's dive into the concept of travel time. Well, what do we mean by travel time? Travel time is the time it takes for your evidence to reach the cog. The idea is to stand as far away as possible from your first target, and as close as possible to your last target. This technique helps broaden the time window to stun all cogs before the first one gets unstunned. It is now time to unlock the secret technology we call Mouse Keys. This technology allows you to perform what we call zero power or zero percent throws. These throws are shot straight ahead and at a pretty fast speed since you don't take time charging the throw. Read the pinned comment for details on how to enable mouse keys for both Windows and Mac. Shout out to a dear friend who taught me how to enable mouse keys on a Mac. You know who you are. Mouse keys are not a necessity to have, but they make your life easier, so why not enable them? As far as I'm concerned, mouse keys have been popular since the Toontown Online days and have never been against the terms of service. Last but not least, we introduce the concept of timing your throws, which actually takes a lot of time and practice to develop some muscle memory for. If you don't have that kind of patience, then you can stick to the method of spamming your mouse keys and hoping for the best. Which still works if you're a fast spammer. It all comes down to preference in the end, and I prefer to time my throws as it is more relaxing and more consistent the better you get at it. Um, the rest of the video will showcase a decent example of the CJ final round with the use of mouse keys and the pivot solo stun. Uh, the only solo stun you ever need to do this boss smoothly. And that's it for this video. Hope um, this was informational enough to help you learn how to solo stun.